this is Kimberly Lou, and welcome to my Foodie Fridays. This is my daughter Summer. Hello. And this is Grace and her pet dog Fluffy, because it's Fluffy. Yes, because he's Fluffy. Now, oftentimes I like to make sure that we have healthy anti inflammatory snacks in the house, but what can you do when your child wants to eat? What, do you, what are your favorite foods? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> and what else? Raspberries. Raspberries. Oh, well. We have chocolate and raspberries, but what do you what do you like when you go to birthday parties and everything? What do they What do you want to have all the time? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate. <laughs> so a lot of times there's so many foods out there that are not fun for the kids to have. It's like you. What about those protein bars that I try to give you? Eh. Yeah, no bueno, huh? Tastes like bleh. Tastes like bleh. So I have been banging my head against the wall trying to figure out foods, healthy foods that she loved. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to find healthy treats to where she would be satisfied and I would be happy with the food choices that we're making. So today we found one of our favorite things that we love to eat, huh Summer? What do we have? Chocolate and raspberries. Chocolate and raspberries. Now I have an autoimmune condition and so it's very challenging for me to have any kind of chocolates. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to get the allergy friendly kind. Now you can get these at Whole Foods or you can get them on Amazon. As a matter of fact, I will put a link below that you can click and order them directly on Amazon. But they have peanut nut free, gluten free, dairy free, and soy free. This is one of the things that I like to make sure I have because again, it's anti-inflammatory, a little bit better for the immune system. Okay, so what are we gonna do today, Summer? Make chocolate raspberries. Okay, oh, I love chocolates too. Okay, <laughs> have some too, huh? I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, Ah. Oh. Okay, so. Can I do it by myself? Oh, you can totally do it by yourself. Why don't you do it right now? Okay. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna make chocolate raspberries. Beautiful, let's do it. I'm gonna let you do it, because you're okay. really good at that. So first, Mom, I'm doing it by myself. I'm not doing anything, right? She can do it all by herself. Okay, okay go ahead. So can you stand next to Grace? Oh, excuse me. So first thing you're gonna do is take a raspberry. <laughs> this one's really big. So you're gonna take a chocolate. See this one? And then you're just gonna put it in. This one's really big, I can fit too. And all you're gonna do is just put it on that thing. Now, this might take a while to do, but it's just going to be really fun and yummy when you're done. So you're just going to line it up there really neatly, like this. Here, I'll show you. Like this. And you can use whatever kind of container you want, and you can even not put it in the freezer and just eat it right away when you're done. But I want to put it in the freezer because it's going to taste yummy, and it's going to taste better and... Good. Why do you love when you put it in the freezer? So then it actually can freeze and then it tastes better and so then um, so then you don't get a mess, like your hands don't get dirty. Mm -hmm. And I like it also better in the freezer so then, um, so then if it's, re if it's really hot uh, and you just go into the refrigerator and you take the things and it's not, it's not cold enough, then you can just take these out of the freezer and eat them and it will be like having ice cubes. But you can also do another craft with these things. You can make some raspberries, put some chocolate in them, and put them in ice cubes, trays with water, and then fill them up and then use them as ice cubes. Or you can um, just put, that one broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it broke. Oh, that one. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or what? <laughs> or you can just put them in um, ice cubes without chocolate. It's your choice. And if you're a kid and you like cooking with dolls, well, then you can just put it to the side, like Grace, and their dog right next to them. Hey! <laughs> Oh, those look pretty. And you can also do some on top, but then they might stick together. So I'm just going to do the bottom row. And if you have any raspberries that are left over, you can just eat them or put them in the refrigerator. 
Oh, I want that one. That one has two chocolate chips. <laughs> Mom, there's even one. There's two in here that have two chocolate chips. Oh, my goodness. So I'm all done, and right now I'm just going to go put them in the freezer. <laughs> So we just fast forwarded the video and I just got this lid on the thing so it would eat, so it wouldn't spill. And now it is completely frozen. OMG. Can I have some of that? Yeah, hold on. Let's try it. So it just broke. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, they're nice and cold and frozen. Mm. Yeah. What's it taste? So they're going to be. A really cool snack and a treat that you would have on a really hot sunny day. Now, I'm Kimberly Lou, and this is Summer. And if this video helped you out in any way, please press like and subscribe. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. We're going to work this out. How? Together. Together.